Hello everyone, welcome to another video, welcome to Yozone. I, I keep messing up my intro and videos, I can't believe I keep doing this. So, I just did a live stream on my channel, um, it was a very, very, very successful live stream, um, loads of you joined, loads of you watched, and it was essentially me playing the new FNAF VR uh, mobile port, and in that, in that game, in that port, there is a new mini game. Who knew? Uh, called Princess Quest. Qu uh, Quest. Quest. There is P Princess Quest, and it's essentially like a little, um, kind of like a, a little bit like an RPG. No, not really. It's it's a bit like a Legend of Zelda kind of style, but um, it's very difficult. And um, there's a secret door at the beginning. Uh, we still don't really know how to open, and I'm hoping to do that in a live stream in the future. Anyway. Um, in today's video, I'm going to quickly um, go through how you beat this game um, for yourself. Um, it doesn't really unlock anything, but it, it's it's pretty cool to beat. You, you can boast to all your friends. <laughs> uh, also, it unlocks every single game uh, in the FNAF VR game. Uh, <laughs> so, we're going to go in. This is us loading into the FNAF VR game, and here's how you get it. So you see on the little monitor in the bottom right, that is how you access the game. But, okay, now it's just not here. <laughs> there we go. But it's not always going to be there uh, at the beginning. And so what you do is you go to Price Corner, um, and here's how you unlock it. You essentially go into Price Corner, and you uh, there there'll be these glitches, and you'll see it in a second. Basically, when the glitch comes, you just have to tap repeatedly as fast as possible. Uh, hopefully it'll come soon. Eventually. Come on. There we go. You just keep tapping. You keep tapping. And it will take a long time. You just have to keep doing that. And it doesn't matter what you tap. These pizzas um, that you'll see there, they light up as well. You just keep tapping them. There'll be a chica here that you, that you can also tap. There's something up there. What is that? What is, what is that up there? That's like a tea bag. <laughs> um, so yeah, essentially that's all you do. You just have to keep tapping and eventually the screen will go dark and um, it will take you to Princess Quest. Okay? So when once you get Princess Quest, you just tap on the screen there and you can begin. And you'll be here. Uh, Princess. Uh, we don't know her name. People have called her Princess Illumina. Um, that's a cool name. Uh, and essentially you just move around, you just kind of um, use your finger to move around. The controls I found were really difficult at the beginning, um, but it will get easier the more you play. Um, I have been playing for about two hours straight, so I've um, just been trying to open this door because this door doesn't open by any means, um, just don't know how you open it. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is get this this chest, you get a heart, and then you go into this this door. Uh, and then all you want to do is light up these two, and then this door will open. Uh, this is going to be a very in-depth tutorial, um, basically a speedrunning tutorial, because I can basically speedrun at this point. There's these two lights up here, one down there, and, and these enemies aren't going to attack you, they're not going to come towards you and attack you, so don't worry about that. What you're going to want to do now is go directly towards this kind of hole, and then go down, and then across, and then up. Be careful not to hit the rabbits, otherwise they'll take a health off of you and you don't want that, you want as much health as possible, uh, and then you just want to kind of go around and then down here, and then up to the corner, and then get these two. Now there's probably multiple ways to do it, but that's my safest, um, like that's what I'm used to now. When you go in this room, uh, you just have to go around, and then you can go through here, up the steps, um, and get this key. The lights will go out, but it's okay, because it's the same room, you just go down the bottom, Sometimes I go up the top, and these um, shadows will be here. All you have to do is kind of inch your way so that you're in the center, and then just run left. You will not get hit if you just keep running. If you keep running, you'll just not get hit. If you just kind of back out, you will get hit, because um, they follow you. They follow you. So here, we're going to go back down here, because this is safe. We know this is safe. And then we're going to go up like this. And then, because we've got the key, we can now go to this door. Simple. Now, as soon as you go into here, you want to go straight up, get this one, keep going up, and this is the door we need to go to. So you're going to go right, get this one, down, 
get this one, and then go back the way you came. It's important you go back the way you came. Um, you might want to be fast here. You want to be really fast, get this one, go down, keep going down, and get that one. Just any that you see on your way, get. Uh, and then we finally need to go down to the bottom right to get that one. And then you can just make your way to the top door. Uh, and there you go. Um, that part is really difficult to get a hang of. You just need to keep doing it, keep doing it. Uh, and you will eventually get there. You'll eventually get there. Um, and now we're in this room. We can't go through here. We need to go through here. Now the maze is essentially, this is the, the way, I can't explain it in a very good way. Hopefully when this video is out, there'll be like a map online or something. But um, just follow what I'm doing right now and that's the way you do it, essentially. That's the easiest way to get through the maze. There is a heart at the bottom uh, if you want the heart or if you're really low on health. Um, I would show it, but you, you'll find it. It's really easy to find. Um, and now you're in this area. You just go across the bridge. There is another sneaky heart up here, just in case you are low. Um, I don't know why that's there, because there's no more enemies. Like, literally, you are safe. You have completed the game. Um, to do this, um, essentially, the explanation here is uh, these gravestones range from 1 to 6, or 1 to 5, or 0 to 5, sorry, 0 to 5. So this gravestone is 0, uh, and then the some of them are broken. So this one, as you can see, there's only one dot, so it's that one. And this one is 2, obviously, so you click on the 2. This one has three dots. Oh no, wait, no, it's, it's, I, I did it wrong. Of course I did it wrong. Uh, this one is supposed to have three dots. This one has four dots because one of them is blanked out. Uh, and this one, it has five. Okay. And so that's the order. It's bottom right, middle left, top left, bottom left, top right. Okay. Then you walk across the bridge that you just opened, and then you can go into this sneaky room, and then light this up, that creates a bridge. You can go into this chest and get the shadow key, or a strange key as it calls it. Then you can go back into this room, and you've done it. You just go into this room with the key, go straight up, keep walking, keep walking, and you will eventually find the Lich Trap. And while this is playing, my theories on this game is that this is Vanny, uh, and she is essentially making the tapes, and because there's 16 lights uh, and 16 tapes, that kind of connects it, and it's her getting possessed by Glitchrap. So that's, that's, that's my overall theory. If you have any other theories, please, please, please make sure that you um, type them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for more of this, uh, and to see my live stream where we open the door. We're doing it, we're doing it, 100% guys. So thank you so much for watching, uh, and tell me how your run went, uh, and I will see you later. Goodbye!